Okay, let's get started by creating a new Google Analytics for account and property for our website. So if you go to google.com slash analytics, if you go to that page, it will bring you to this page right here. So if you already have an existing Google account, what you can do is just click on get started today and that's going to allow you to get started with Google Analytics 4 or you can sign into Google Analytics 4 if you already have a profile set up. Now I do already have a property set up so for me it might look a little bit different than it looks for you. When you click on get started today, what you are likely going to see is a page that looks like this one right here. Now if you already have an existing Google Analytics 4 profile, if we just go back really quick, I click on exit. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the admin section of your existing Google Analytics 4 account. And through the admin section, what you can do is click on create account. So when you create an account, it's going to look just like this. So I'm going to set up a new account for my website. And so the very first thing is naming our new account. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do brickpop.com for my account name. Now we're going to scroll down here, account data and sharing settings. So this just depends on the options you want to give over sharing your Google Analytics data. Um, I generally just share everything, but we'll click on next now. Okay, next we're going to create a property. So our property name could be exactly the same as our account name, and I'll show you why that matters in a minute. Um, it doesn't need to be exactly the same, and you can create separate properties for different websites, or if you have an iOS app, or if you have an Android app. So in this case, we're doing this for brickpop.com, our website. So we're going to name our property the same as our account, and then our reporting time zone, you just want to set for your local time zone. So for me, I am currently in New York time. So that's where my local time zone is. Currency will be US dollar. You don't need to worry about advanced options because universal analytics properties are no longer collecting data. So we're gonna click on next here and next is going to be describing your business. So now what you need to do is select your industry category. So for mine, it's going to be hobbies and leisure and then your business side size as far as how many employees your business has. So for mine, it's just going to be small and we're gonna click on next. So next you wanna choose your business objectives. So generally what I recommend doing here when you're choosing your business objectives is just clicking on get baseline reports. So just get started by clicking get baseline reports. You don't need to add all of these other options here. We're just gonna click this one at the bottom and click on create. So now the Google Analytics terms of service agreement, we need to make sure we accept the uh, data processing terms here as required by the GDPR and additional terms applic applicable to data shared with Google, I accept also need to accept the measurement controller controller data protection term so accept that as well make sure we accept all of our terms and now we want to start collecting data so it's really that simple to actually set up your Google Analytics 4 property so what we can do now is we're going to choose a platform we're going to choose web here obviously if you're setting up an Android app or an iOS app you would choose a different platform but for the most part most people are choosing web for their website when you set that up for the first time so next we're gonna set our website URL, so HTTPS, and ours is brickpop.com. Stream name, we can name, again, the same exact thing as our other ones. So we have brickpop.com for our stream, for our property, for our account. Enhanced measurement, you wanna make sure you enable enhanced measurement here. So this is gonna show that it's already gonna be measuring page views, scrolls, outbound clicks, site search, video engagement, file downloads, and form interactions. So you might as well measure all of these, even if you're not planning on having any file downloads or forms on your website, there's really no downside to using enhanced measurement and make sure you're measuring everything right when you set up your stream. So when we set up this, it's called a stream. So this is called our web stream. So it's a little bit different terminology than previously, but at this point we are ready to install Google Analytics 4. So our property is completely set up. So instead of installing it right this second, we're gonna click on the X, we're gonna click on the X again, and what we're going to do is we're just going to come back over here to, or if we come over here to next, and we're going to continue to home. And what we want, I just want to show you accessing your account. So in your Google Analytics 4 account, so I set this one up just as an example. This is the one I'm currently using. Probably going to end up switching over to this one. You'll actually see the old Universal Analytics property here. Um, but this is our current run right here. So you're going to see Analytics accounts, and then this is our properties and our apps. So brickpop.com, we know it's a web stream because obviously we have the .com there. So now what we need to do is actually install Google Analytics 4.